This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson circuits and physical prototypes. Smart bike headlight. The last part of your smart bike plan that we need to figure out is the automatic headlight. Do this. First, you'll need to decide what First, you'll need to decide what to use for your headlight. Ooh, I've already decided that. You could add LED, another LED circuit, or perhaps you'll find a way to mount the board that allows the use that allows for using the color LEDs as a headlight. That's what I'm going to do. Once you've figured out the physical layout of your lights, add code to the program that turns on and off the headlight based on how light or dark it is. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to, we have that light sensor we use for a little, oh, they, oh, there's a hitch. Okay. If you're using a built-in, if you're using the built-in color LEDs, you might need to protect the light sensor to make sure that it's responding to ambient light level and not the light from the LEDs. Oh, that is a good point. And I am going to be using the built-in lights. Um, because I want to use how they change color. So, and the board's going to be a bit crowded when I get those other two lights on it. All right, let's go ahead and start adding some code for that. Since I'm going to be using... the built-in one... I shouldn't need to name it because I can use the names already established. So up here, if I was adding one, I could create a variable for create LED, blah, blah, blah. But I shouldn't need to because mine already exists. So on the board event that the light sensor data, and then remember we can use if statements. And so how much data, so how bright is it? I don't exactly remember how sensitive it is, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to say light sensor uh, value, right? So we need to grab that data. Value um, 100. And if you forgot what light sensor, if you go over here, it's all listed out somewhere. So, um, so if that value is greater than, a, or if the value is less than 100, I'm going to have, oh, now that I'm over here, light sensor Oh, this is on the board, right. Um, I'm going to want to turn it on. Here we go. Color LEDs, maybe color LED zero I'll use. And then if it's less than that, so I'm going to use an else statement. Now, if it's less than 100, the LED is going to go on. If it's greater than 100, this will be false. It doesn't run the code under if. Instead, it will always run the else. Let's see what this does so far. So. And when it gets brighter. Huh? Cool. We have a working headlight. And the cool thing, like they said about the ones on the board, are that you can actually control the color too, which I'm definitely going to do. What? Do I put the color in quotes? It's been too long. Run. Cool, and then, <laughs> cool, I got my headlight. And if I were going to attach one like we did here, you just need to make sure to name it and use that when asking it to be turned on, the name that you create for it. Awesome, let's keep going. You could still use light sensor though, right? Because the light sensor, you could still go that route. Let's keep going. 